polyfusion welding of plastics is a method of welding and joining of plastic systems, creating an homogeneous joint with a higher strength than the pipe itself. Now we will show you how to gain that quality of an homogeneous joint. Pipes of the f -fair Plast system are connected to each other using sleeve pieces or fittings. The inner diameter of the fitting corresponds to the external dimension of the pipe within the relevant tolerance. When using pipes and fittings manufactured according to international standards, it is impossible to insert a tube into the fitting without warming it up. For the socket welding, we use spinous or mirror welding machines. Mirror welding machines can transfer heat better thanks to a greater surface, which is important especially in sections over 40 mm. Welding of smaller profiles up to 40 mm can be easily performed by hand using a welding machine with manual or electronic control. For welding of a large diameter, it is recommended to use welding preparative, which we will be happy to lend. It is recommended to weld large profiles in a clean environment, preferably in a workshop. How to proceed with work in the actual welding? For the welding machine SM2 with manual control, we set the temperature from 250 to 270 degrees centigrade and connect the unit to power. Wait until the welding machine is heated to the desired temperature or check the temperature with a touch or non-contact thermometer. Before the actual welding with the f -fair Plast system, we check the correct function of cutting scissors or a cutting wheel on the pipe rest. When cutting pipe, a deformation of its outer diameter may not occur. We carefully check the components we want to use, whether there are no depressions, hollows or bulges, or whether or not the components were unrecoverably dirty or otherwise damaged during transportation and storage. We measure the needed length of tube and cut it off. Then we clean the pipe edge of any burrs. For pipes with a diameter of 50 mm and more, we recommend to chamfer the outer edge of pipes with a preparative at a 45 degree angle because this prevents so-called grading material. If we connect the f -fair Plast stubby pipe, it is not necessary to indicate the depth of insertion of the pipe into the fitting. Before welding, we remove the top plastic and middle aluminium layer evenly from the entire surface and to the desired length using a cutter. When doing this, we keep a prescribed diameter for welding. Without warming, the fitting cannot be plugged even into the adapted tube. If so, the correct course of welding would be impossible. The cut pipe ends must be degreased. At the same time, we degrease the inner surface of the fitting. We put the fitting on the mandrel and insert the tube into the hot mandrel. Then we warm both parts for a period of time specified by the profile. After the warm up time, the pipe and fitting are removed from the attachment. The connection is performed by pushing the tube by slow, steady pressure axially into the socket of the fitting without rotating. Now we have approximately 5 seconds for possible correction. The new weld must be fixed for 20 to 30 seconds when a partial cooling occurs. After this time, the weld does not allow change of position of fitting to the pipe. This is a view of a quality finished connection of the f -fair Plast system from outside and this is a view from the inside. Full load of weld can be made after it is fully cooled, after about one hour, depending on the ambient temperature. A specific area of socket welding is represented by the repair of drilled PPR pipes. The repair kit is designed to repair drilled polypropylene pipes for diameters of 20 and more millimeters. It consists of an attachment and mandrels for welding into the tube hole. For heating, we can use all types of spinous and angular welding machines. A special welding adapter, which is the same for the repair of all diameters, is mounted to the welding machine. 
The spacer ring on the warm-in mandrel serves to define the insertion of the mandrel when heating according to the drilled pipe wall thickness. The welding machine is preheated and after preheating we check the temperature on attachment. The hole must be rebored using a drill with a diameter of 10 mm. The calibrated hole is cleaned of burr and for the stabby tube we strive to eliminate the aluminium layer in the vicinity of the weld. On the corrective mandrel we measure and indicate insertion depth according to the thickness of the repaired pipe. We also set the spacer ring. When working, it is very important that the contact surfaces of the corrective mandrel and the hole are dry and free of grease. The hole in the tube and the corrective mandrel are warmed up simultaneously for five seconds to create a melting collar as during normal polyfusion welding. The heated mandrel is inserted into the warmed hole without rotation. The melting pin must be inserted exactly as marked so as to prevent blindness, smoking or necking of the repaired pipe. After cooling, we remove the remainder of the corrective mandrel using scissors, pliers or a saw. Testing is performed by a pressure test like in normal polyfusion welding. At present, plastic pipes are used due to their properties. They do not corrode or glaze like metal pipes and, if properly applied, have a lifespan of 50 years. Plastic pipes and fittings are made of high quality polypropylene and are manufactured according to European and international standards. The big advantage is the fact that plastics are not sensitive to the pH of transported water. When water flows through the pipe, it is less noisy and has a smaller loss of pressure. This allows for the use of greater water velocity, which can facilitate reducing the pipe profile. All this gives plastics the dominant position in installation materials. Thanks to its rich assortment of individual elements, the FA Plast system allows wide use. Generally, the greater wall thickness allows higher temperatures and pressures with an expected life of 50 years. The basic rules relating to installation are specified in the company's installation regulations, which every plumber should have on hand. When designing and assembling each part of a distribution system of water supply or heating, it is necessary to know several guidelines related to changes in the length of plastic pipe due to temperature. For example, the supporting of pipes and required pipe insulation. Pipes of an internal water supply system should be as short and straight as possible. The only exception to this rule is for compensation of linear expansion. The extension and contraction of piping due to temperature is greater for plastic than for traditional materials and this must be taken into account in design and installation. Typical examples are fitting in a plastic sleeve, in a metal sleeve with insulation, in open trough or on the console, which increases the stiffness of the pipe and allows an increase in distance of pillars. A properly executed connection has a higher strength than the tube. It is fast, safe and reliable throughout the entire lifetime of the pipe. Plastic transition pieces with metal thread are used to link threaded fittings of different species. Sealing of threaded connections is carried out only using Teflon tape or sealing compounds. For tightening screw connections, when the adapter is not provided with a polygonal head directly on the metal part, we use a wrench with tape. In order to support the pipe, we use the so-called slide assembly. In this way, the pipe is allowed to change its length. With regard to changes in length, in some places, we use a fixed point instead of slide assembly. An example of a fixed point is represented by the two fittings and sleeve. A fixed point can also be created at the point of pipe bend, at the branch, or at the meter or fitting. But we must not forget the possibility of expansion between the fixed points must always be considered. 
Pipes should be insulated along the entire path. Pipe insulation should be made only after a successful pressure test. Cold water is insulated from condensation and warming. Hot water is insulated against heat loss. The most commonly used insulation is foam polyethylene, which is crimped. It can be threaded like a tube or, after splitting, it can wrap an already welded pipe. The design of insulation thickness is determined in all sections of pipeline on the basis of evaluation of the potential gains and losses. Before start of implementation, it is very important to develop a project. We provide designers with our own calculation program for designing, FV CAD. The actual implementation begins with the transport of elements to the site and their storage. The products of FA Plast are packed in high quality protective packagings, which we leave packed until assembly. The actual installation of plastic pipes requires temperatures over plus 5 degrees centigrade with respect to material and ensuring of optimum welding conditions. For these reasons, the work environment on site must be warm. Pipes and fittings must be loaded and transported carefully. It is prohibited to pull the tubes over ground or the loading area of the vehicle. It is not recommended to throw products or to throw them crashing to the ground. On site, they are stored in a dedicated place where they will be protected from weather and mechanical damage. Before use, all the parts must be inspected for damage which may have occurred during transport and storage. The shut-off valves should be checked for their function. Termination of the connection pipe at the place of outlet fittings can be performed by separate wall elbows or a complete universal wall, which can be adapted to the pitch of forcets. Separate wall elbows are mounted on a solid bottom to ensure accurate and consistent position of fittings. The branching of connection pipe of two pipes, which are piped in parallel, is done by a special fitting, by crossing. The distance of the pipe fitting shall be determined with regard to water temperature, pipe diameter, pressure line, and with respect to the number of vertical positions of lines. Dilation of the pipes is usually eliminated using a compensation loop. Locking tape is removed after mounting the loop. When using the compensation loop on the riser in a groove, we must always cut a pocket, which is filled with a flexible material so as not to be filled with mortar when plastering. This would prevent the motion of the compensation loop. Plastic distribution pipes are installed in one third of the time needed compared to galvanized steel pipes. Besides the speed of work, another big advantage is seamless pipe fitting, which, thanks to its simplicity, does not affect the operation of the building. There is no clogging by sediments. After completion of the distribution and before isolating, bricking up or covering, a pressure test is performed. After a successful pressure test, we only have to connect the new pipeline with a source of water or heating system. Therefore, it has been possible to build plastic distribution pipes with FV Plast easily and reliably since 1990.